What is up, everyone? We are back with the new game, Metroid Dread. So, just got done beating Tears of the Kingdom, and I wanted to start a new game. And when thinking about starting a new game, this game just kept popping up in my mind for two reasons. One, I had a Nintendo voucher, so I had to use that up, and this game was on there. And two, I actually have played the demo of this game. And I thought, just from the demo, I thought it was excellent. Um, I did not expect this game to be like this. I And I also did not hear too much about this game when it came out. Um, but after doing a little bit of research, it seems to be a great game. Challenging game, which is something that I love about video games. I love games that are, are a bit challenging. And this game is in that direction of more challenging rather than like laid back or anything like that. So... That's why I decided to go with this game. It seems like it's going to be a really fun game and a really challenging one. And on top of that, it's a short game. Um, and I just, like I said, I just played Tears of the Kingdom, which was a super long game. So I kind of wanted to play a game that was more shorter than that. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already gone in and, and put in some of the settings. Like, um, I think the main one being the, the brightness of the screen. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, and here, I can't do any other mode other than Rookie and Normal. Uh, normal seems to be, says it increases recovery, I mean Rookie is increases recovery from drops and reduces damages, damage from bosses. And the Normal is just the standard difficulty. So, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, Normal. And like I said, I've already done the demo, so I did play like the first like maybe 15 minutes of this at some point, but it's been a while. Metroid, a vir virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. X Parasite, a gelatinous parasite organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasites were driven not by emotion, by an, but by an instinctive, instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Uh, and also, just a little background. I th I'm pretty positive that the only Metroid game that I have played was Metroid Prime for the GameCube. And I was thinking about playing that game for the next uh, Let's Play as well, so it was kind of a toss between that and this one. But then I decided to go with this one. No Metroid surviving on SR388 became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet. Got infected and almost died. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratories, BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. I'm guessing that was the X parasite right there. There I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting it by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. It 
There it goes. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown. The transmission was traced to a particular planet. I'm guessing we're gonna go hunt down that X, X particle. So it's called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven EMMI to investigate. Those are the EMMIs. An EMMI is a large research robot designed to capture sample, to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Uh oh. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Oh snap. So yeah, that's a pretty cool backstory right there. Um, from when I did my research, I do believe this game does take place after another game. Uh, specifically like one of the 2D Metroid games. Don't remember which one it was though. But everything pretty much said that, yeah, you, this is, you can play this game as a standalone game. You'll soon be entering ZDR's atmosphere. Alright, here we go. What's going on? We're unconscious. And weak. So this may have been what happened when we landed and why we're so weak right now. This is probably that. Immune to our attacks.
Very weird, very weird. So it seems like we, we should be eventually like dead. So yeah, this is a 2D game. But it's alright, I think I think uh, there's a lot of 2D games out there that don't get the praise that they deserve and this may be one of those games. Cause I have heard a lot of people speak highly about this game, but like I said, I just feel like I have not seen too many people who actually play it or like I feel like you have to do some research to find out that this is this is actually a really good game. Um, let's see. Where should we go? Right after that, I guess let's just go to the right. Um, so it seems like use we can attack these guys with a Y. Slide. Free aim. All right. Cool. I wonder if we can get this right here. these boxes oh, there we go that works oh what is this this looks like that one thing that we bought ammo already at maximum capacity all right so this is for ammo it seems like hold R to ready missiles and press white fire the blocks can be destroyed only by using specific weapons Undestructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking, striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. Ah, there we go. and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZBR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Alright, so these network st stations... Oh, there we go. I was literally about to say these network stations seem to serve as kind of like a checkpoint. So, yeah, I guess let's keep going. I 
so we can slide under here. Oh. What do we got here? Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter now. Oh, that was pretty badass. Parry enemy, parry enemy attacks with a melee counter by pressing X at the right moment. I, I think they have that little glow. And um, that's when you're supposed to do the parry. Like that. Oh, that was... That feels nice. And I guess when I do that, I don't even have to aim because I'm, I'm still aiming when I do it, but... What they're saying is it'll automatically aim to whoever you're comparing. So this is going to be a, a, a really cool game. Uh, I actually, believe it or not, just discovered the term Metroidvania game because I recently had played a game called Hollow Knight. Um, I do that? An area on the map is blinking. It indicates that a hidden item is there. Ooh. So yeah. That is probably the hidden item right there. Ooh, okay. Now we can hold up 17. So, yeah, I, I played Hollow Knight. And I when I looking at more things, more details into that game, I learned about the term Metroidvania game. Uh, obviously, Metroid being a big pioneer, being the pioneer of those types of games. Uh, and so this is Metroidvania game, and I think it'll be really cool to showcase these types of games. Um, like I said, games that most people may not be interested in at first, but I think if I showcase it, people will see how cool they can be. Even if it's just a 2D game. Those are the EMMIs, right? An EMMI's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate move. Slide under. Ah, okay. So we can actually avoid it by sliding under it. It's a rogue EMMI or it's the X Parasite, right? I think it's either one either one or the other. Energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Omega Blaster Online. Hold L to use aim mode. The target is nearby, Samus will automatically face the direction. Hold R to charge the Omega Blaster. Once charged, press Y. While still holding R to fire, aim at the core. Do I lose that ability now? Oh, no, I still have it. Okay, cool. Oh, so on the map, I yep, 
There you go. Oh my gosh. I think I need more time. I need to get it at a bigger distance. There we go. Mega cannon depleted and offline. Reverting to regular arm cannon. Damn. Bummer. So, those EMM EMMIs, something about this game is that they will be a recurring bad guy character, whatever you want to call it. So, they're actually going to be. I don't know if it's multiple of them. They're kind of just spread out around the map. And they will be able to essentially just follow us and part of the that's just part of the game like getting away from them it's like that, that feeling of just getting chased constantly essentially is what the game it tries to go for of course you want to save And then something else to note is that right now we are in what's called Ataria. I don't know too much about this, but I just noticed that, so I just thought I would point that out. I wonder how we're going to be able to open those doors. So it seems like that's just the path that we can't actually go. Does this replenish our missiles? I didn't check. It is not. Oh, I didn't know I could fire. Yep. <laughs> yep. Again, that is probably going to happen a lot. Where I just don't realize this pollution is right in my face. How to get through the next area. Showing us the map area right now. Right, let's keep going. Can't go through here. Another EMI. EMMI. I'm gonna want to say EMI a lot, probably. <laughs> oh, this one looks a lot in a lot better condition than the other one. Nice. 
so it's chasing me. I just gotta escape it. Oh, it's coming for me. Oh, you can see it on the map, actually. It's like a big red. Duh. Oh my god. Nope. I'm dead. Oh no. I wonder what those doors mean. Like, how come they're red? Uh, let's see what's down here first, actually. Oh, never mind. Guess not. Missile tank acquired. Ooh. Now we can hold 19. Yeah, so. Seems like these doors are locked. Some of these doors seem to be blocked. Uploading data. Both enemy you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all enemy will be hostile. Enemy send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Mm. Yep. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the enemy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. Uh, oh, okay. It's a side zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Got it. So yeah, so they can hear us. They, they will be able to hear us. Um, and once they hear us, they'll know and start looking for us. Then also, I just realized that he called it an Emmy. So I don't have to keep calling it an EMMI. I don't know if he, that's the first time he starts calling it an Emmy. But I'm glad about that because I also no no longer need to call it an M E M E M M I. So it seems like- I don't think we can get this yet. I don't see how we would get that. So, let's just continue on. I am sure we will see an Emmy soon. We're only missing two rockets, but I guess we might as well reload. It seems like we unlocked a little bit more of the map now. Oh god, that's an enemy. Oh god. Well, that plan. Oh my god. Oh dude, I did it. What? I didn't I didn't think I'd be able to do that. I actually parried it. 
I don't know if I got lucky. Wait, what is that? Oh, there it is. Oh god, it's coming for me. No. Uh, so I don't think I can go through there. I'm going through here. Alright, so it seems like we escaped it for now. They can hear us though. This is a dead end though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, I wonder if maybe we have to fire. Check out the map. Oh my gosh. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, I didn't see that you can hit the bottom ones too. Oh. Oh no. So I think we escaped it. I think we're good. At some point, I'm sure we're going to be able to turn into like a ball to get into these little tight areas. But for now, I don't think we have that ability yet. through there. Alright, yeah, there we go. That should help out. I wonder if we go back, if it'll... if it made a difference. Did. It was over here. Ooh, okay, cool. Area map downloaded. The map, the yellow rooms are saving facilities, the purple rooms contain transportation devices. Hmm. Oh wow, we've downloaded, well I don't know if there's more than this, right? But we downloaded, downloaded a good amount of the map, at least just like the skeleton of it. Oh no, not this thing again. 
I'm scared to die to it again. <laughs> There we go. It was just so close to me that I know like I had to parry it. So we've obviously been here already, so we're able to collect that item now. Oh, dang. I did not I didn't know that was going to happen. Alright, so there's another EMI. Uh, let's go ahead and try to lose it. Another. I keep saying EMI. Oh, I meant. I always just mean to say I mean. Oh no. I want to. I think I want to keep going over here to try to flood this area. I don't know if I got it done right there. But that seems like what we need to do. Did I do it? I guess I did do it. I guess I did do it. But I can probably just run. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, that was probably the wrong move. But I think I can go down here now. Okay, cool. That recharged my health. Let's see where we are now. Uh, let's go this way. Whoa. Well, actually, never mind. Let's not go this way. I don't think I can go this way. up here. Whoa. Oh, it's too cold right there. It's too cold. Hey, Amanda. Uh, it seems like... I believe there's actually one other person watching right now. You are not the only one at this moment. In the chat? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Ah, there we go. Man, getting that parry off feels nice. Ooh. What is this? Charge beam acquired. Focus this beam energy to unleash a powerful shot. Press and hold Y to charge, and then release to fire. Okay, so I... Oh, so I can destroy those things. And that's how I get through those area, that area of the... Like, those type of doors. Charge shots damage enemies immune to normal beam shots, such as robots and bosses. You can also open charge beam doors. In addition... In addition, Samus can perform a charge attack by spin. Spin jumping when the, the beam is fully charged. I want to see an example of that. Does it show an example of spin jumping when the beam is fully charged? 
Let me see. Oh. Ah. That is cool. You already beat this game? Easy? Like, are you saying you beat it on the easy difficulty? Or you're... Or this game was easy for you? Alright, let's test it out right here on this guy. Oh, only two shots now, okay. Got it. Hey, that's pretty impressive. From what I've heard, this is my first playthrough of the game, so... From what I've heard, the game is a pretty difficult game. Right now I'm just playing it on normal, since that's kind of like the default when you first play it. I don't think it, you, it doesn't seem like you can play any other difficulty other than that. Now uh, we've actually already been in this area, I believe. We're kind of backtracking a little bit. We just weren't able to go, get through this door. Actually, no, I think this is a different area. Never mind, I take it back. Energy tank acquired, energy capacity increased by a hundred. Oh, I have a hundred and ninety-nine health now or energy. Oh, we've been here for sure. So this is where we've been. So now we're backtracking a little bit. Um, don't know if I should be backtracking over here because we've already cleared this area. So it does seem like there's maybe a couple doors that we could try getting through. Sure, let's do it. Might as well save it. Alright, so here we are. So this is a door that we were previously unable to open, but now we are good to do so. I didn't mean to go through. I meant to try to... Hmm. Do I need like a certain ability to break through this box? Alright, so, like, seems to be something here. Well, obviously we have, like, the music of the Emmys, but... <clears throat> so let's see where we want to go. I think we, I mean, we've already been through all this area. Let's maybe charge beam door. We could go up there. All 
Alright, so it's coming for us. I'm sure, like, at some point you get pretty used to the map of this game. It's still kind of new, so you'll need to be checking it pretty frequently just to see where I'm at. What was over here? Oh, okay, yeah, this door is locked. Oops. Same thing over here. Alright, yeah, so we are back here. Again, I might as well save it. Now we can go through this door. Uh, but unfortunately it seems like even though we could get through that door, we're not going to be able to get through here. At least not yet. So, go ahead and keep going back where we were. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I can't go this way. Then how do I get back? Also... You're fast traveling in this game. I'm I'm gonna assume at some point that there is fast traveling. But for now it seems like we do have to dang, we came all this way and I, it seems like we have to backtrack. I don't think we can get through. Which is a bummer, honestly. Came a long way. Oh, I can't go out this way either. Wait, I must be missing something. Is this a lava Genius. Absolutely genius. Ow. I don't quite see how you're supposed to know that though. How are you supposed to know that? Just cause, like, if you get stuck in an area, just essentially start shooting. <laughs> Actually, that looks pretty sick. <laughs> oh, too hot, too hot, too hot. Again, we reach a saving area. We can't get through this, right? Right, so just like slight, slight minute details that could 
be trying to hit you at going towards one direction. Thermal fuse flow has been re redirected. Redirected. All right, I can't get that. Now, if we come back... So now these doors are locked. Um, because that- because- I think because of what I did? Interesting. That is pretty sick. So, I didn't even think about it, but yeah, I guess it's very possible that uh, that we got lured here, and that that X parasite footage that was sent to them, like he said, is the stage. All right. So, so now I think only the thermal doors are going to be open. So, theoretically, this door down here... Oh, wait, no, we can use it still. Okay, then, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but we'll just follow this thing. I just missed a bunch of stuff. I don't believe I've been in this area yet. Oh wait, I'm just making a big loop. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Nope. Yeah, I knew it. So, I was able to do it one time, but I knew I wasn't going to be able to just constantly do it. If 
I see where the Emmy's at. Oh, I miss it again. So rather than... Oh, I wonder if I have to keep doing that until I get it right. No, it's that one thing. Go time? Is it go time? Seems like it. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an omega cannon. Alright, so. We will use this, I guess, to get out. reading correctly. Alright, so now we should be able to take care of this guy. Wherever he is. Oh, here he comes. What? Did I not do it? Oh, maybe I have to like... The other one that we first faced was weak, right? So maybe I have to kind of like take off its shell or whatever. Hold Y to fire the Omega Stream. Yeah, kind of like this. Yeah, so it's going to be the exact same concept that I'm literally doing right here. So I kind of have to like weaken its armor first. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Wait for it. Oh god. There we go.
Spider Magnet acquired. Allow Samus to attach to blue magnetic surfaces, surface walls, and ceilings using a magnetic field. Okay, tilt the L stick in the direction of certain walls and certain ceilings to grab on. Samus can move and attack while on this in this state. Hold up while attached to a ceiling and press against it. All right, cool. So now this. Okay, so I'm guessing the green area means not necessarily fully cleared because there's still these glowing boxes, but that it's safe. I'm guessing it's like a safe area. Um, meaning that the Emmy will not be there. So now we can use this. Wait, look at that. Some pretty cool stuff right there. So maybe now I should start looking at places where there's like these blue walls so that I can start using my ability there. See if there's any like uncovered or areas of the map we can continue to explore. So now we have this little shortcut right here as well. Very nice. Go ahead and save the game as well. Alright. I guess I'll, I'll continue a little bit longer. I was debating on ending it right there, but I'll keep going. What is this thing? Oh, okay, okay. If I get close enough to it. I could parry it. I don't know if I want to do that though. I don't know if I want to risk doing that. So now... Let's just see. Oh, I can't even go up here. So, never mind. <laughs> Let's keep going. There it is. So is this like officially the first boss? Oh my god. So obviously it's tail. I definitely don't like that it's driven me to a corner. Hey. 
Oh. <laughs> I tried to recreate the scene. Okay, so I gotta learn when to jump and when to like move in. So right here, better to move in. Right there he swipes. If I jump. There we go. Oh, I don't like that. I think I, I picked up his patterns pretty well now. Won't be surprised if a new moveset is introduced, but we'll see. Oh. Ah, oh, what? Oh, I can latch on right here. Come on. Oh, so right there I'm supposed to parry it. Oh, okay, okay. I see. to do right there. Like, yeah, right there, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What's the best way to avoid that? No. And then... There we go. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect this boss fight to drag out. Like, I thought it would be pretty quick and easy, but... Yeah, the parrying is the the, the key. I noticed that. Maybe a little too late. Phantom Cloak. Is this to like hide from the Emmys? An Aeon ability that renders Samus invisible to enemies by refracting light. You can also move silently, abate, abate at slower speed with full Aeon, press R to activate. Press R once again to deactivate. Aeon will slowly con will slowly be consumed while this ability is activated. Moving or firing weapons while activated will consume additional Aeon. Once all Aeon has been depleted, the Phantom Cloak will consume energy. Instead, should it be depleted energy to 1, it will automatically deactivate. 
act after deactivation, Aeon will begin to recharge it automatically once Samus makes any action. The ability cannot be activated again until the Aeon is full. Ah, okay. And then on the left right there, we kind of see examples of how it can be used. That's pretty neat ability right there. And to de deceive the Emmys, pretty much what it, it seems like is the main point of them, to deceive the, the Emmys. Yeah, thanks for the advice there. Yeah, I, I noticed now... Well, first my question is, was that a boss fight? Is that like the, my first official boss fight? And then also... Um, yeah, I noticed right there in that fight that I should have been... In that moment when you slide, it gave you the opportunity to parry. And unfortunately I realized it while it was a little too late or else I probably could have ended the fight sooner. Um, and then yeah, I noticed that in that... In that like cinematograph, cinematog, cinema, I can't speak. Cinematographic, like video sequence right there where you can still shoot. Um, yeah, like I didn't have any control of that or anything. Alright, so I think that was pretty good. I just go end up saving the game. Oh. oh. Hold up. Did I miss something? Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, this is where you can use the... Cloak. How do you use the cloak again? Oh yeah, R. Mmm. That is cool. So you can use Cloak to get through areas like that as well. We could probably get through this door now. That's very cool though. I didn't even think about using it for that reason. What's the best way? Let's go up here. We're gonna go ahead and save it and see. Yeah, I'll probably end it there. I think ending it on a boss fight is a pretty good way of ending it. <laughs> I couldn't get it right there. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. So we did a, a good amount. So we're in Arteria right now. Um, seems like we still got a few areas more to cover. Uh, I, I believe that was a boss fight. Don't know the name of that boss. Um, that was pretty... So far it's been a pretty good experience with this game. I, loving the, the world building. How the map evolves over time and how you're able to get to certain areas after discovering an ability. I think it's pretty sweet and like backtracking and noticing things that you didn't notice before kind of thing but yeah so so far it's going pretty good hopefully next time we can cover most of this and keep going thank you so much for everyone that uh, that tuned in i really appreciate it if you like this content just make sure you like subscribe um i have my x and my x slash twitter account in my bio if you want to follow me there i'll, I'll keep you guys updated on there um yeah Thank you so much. Peace.